Walmart is taking on Amazon, launching a free next day delivery service with no membership fees. Customers in Phoenix, Las Vegas, and Southern California who buy at least $35 worth of goods are going to get free one-day shipping on as many as 220,000 items. Now, Amazon firing back with a tweet, quote, others are trying to up their fast shipping game. Fact is, Amazon customers in thousands of cities across 44 major metropolitan areas already have access to millions of items with same free same-day delivery. Customers are smart. They know the difference. So is Amazon getting a little nervous? No, I don't think they should are, and I don't think they should be. Uh, what should be getting nervous, though, is retail. The retail out there, the original mom-and-pop killer Walmart is going against the new mom-and-pop killer Amazon. This can be bad for retail. It's going to be great for these two companies. I bought, Amazon I bought Amazon stock a while back, but I bought Walmart stock along with it because of the fact that Walmart has stores in almost every city in North America. So when they go to same-day delivery, they don't have to build warehouses across North America like Amazon has to do. It is so much cheaper for Walmart to use existing stores as distribution centers, Walmart is going to be very good at this e-commerce game. You know, this is a trade war I can get behind. This is capitalism. Right. This is competition. And who benefits at the end of the day? The consumer. Yes. As soon as one of these companies decide that they're going to up their game on shipping, everybody else decides to follow suit. And that By means way, we get our me, stuff. Carol, that's the president stepping off the plane. He's, he's been in uh, Louisiana all day, he just came from an LNG facility. There's a, a rally in New Orleans tonight. Uh, but as you can see, there are no microphones around him. Uh, we may keep those pictures, pictures up. Go ahead. All right. Well, I don't think he's delivering anything one day to anybody, but I think <laughs> it is right. a good thing. And obviously, this last mile to get to the consumer is going to be really important. I think they have very different strategies. As John mentioned, Walmart already has these stores all the way around. I think they'll be focusing on different kinds of goods and services. I think what's interesting is that Walmart, I think, set a minimum dollar price of $35. So they're just going to take a little out of, out of their margins, whereas Amazon says it's not losing their money. I find a five dollar thing being delivered is hard to believe that they're not losing money on that but i'm not going to challenge amazon because <laughs> i think i've been wrong for a decade challenging them. mark uh you know this is this is capitalism at its finest and i'm just waiting for the first one that's going to pay me to receive their product so yeah but it you know it is extraordinary and john you've talked about this a lot how all a rising tide can lift all boats. You don't have to have one or the other, as the president is uh, pressing the flesh in the crowd here in New Orleans. Go ahead, John. Yeah, and you look at what Amazon has done with all the mom and pop businesses out there. You know, uh, the, people were so upset about Walmart moving into small country towns. Amazon is slightly different because they have third party sellers that are on their site. They have created a lot of startup uh, millionaires and even a few billionaires because of what they do. Absolutely. And Walmart is starting to do that as well. So these are becoming the home platforms instead of sell selling proprietary products and services. And, they're helping small businesses. And I want to make everyone services. happy at this panel. Yes, AOC was wrong not supporting Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure we're all Can we get okay. a high five right. on that, Robert? I just want to make sure that we're all aligned to end this, uh, this great hour. Yeah.